If you're the owner of an Ambernick RG35XX and you've been thinking about upgrading to Garlic OS, now's an excellent time to do so. The developer Black Serif hasn't had to put out an update in a little over a month now, so I think it's at version 1.4.9 and everything's running very smooth and very stable. So in this video, I'll show you how to install Garlic OS onto the 35XX from scratch, or if you're on an earlier version, I'll show you how to do an upgrade. So here's what we'll need. First on the Garlic OS download page, and by the way, all links will be in the description for the software we're going to use. Scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page until you reach the downloads. If you're doing a fresh install, grab these two files that read micro SD card image 01 and 02. If you're doing an upgrade from a previous version, grab these two that read copy paste on top of stock. Additionally, we'll want to grab 7-zip so that we can unzip our image files. Win32 Disk Imager will allow us to write those image files to our SD card. Disk Genius to uh, manipulate the partitions on the SD card, which we'll need to do to complete installation. And then finally, SD card formatter. In case you're going to be reusing an old card, we can use this program to format it before writing to it. Now, as always, these are programs I like to use, but if you have others that you prefer that will do the same job, feel free to use those. Here's a quick note about SD cards. I recommend name brand cards rather than the cheap ones that Ambernick supplies. If you're going to be using a single SD card, then 16 to 32 should be fine if you have mostly cartridge based games. If you're going to be playing quite a few CD based games, you might want to consider a 64 or 128 gig card. In a dual SD card setup, card 1 can be anywhere from 4 to 16 gigs is what I'd recommend and then card 2 where your ROMs would go the same principle would apply 16 to 32 for cartridge based 64 to 128 if you're going to be adding quite a few CD games and a little later on I will show you how to set up dual SD cards we'll start with the fresh install instructions the first step is optional if you're reusing an old card it's suggested that we reformat it using SD card formatter Make sure you've selected the correct drive letter and then perform a quick format. Next, we'll unpack our zip files. 001 and 002 need to be in the same location. However, you only need to right click on 001, go to 7-zip, and then extract here. You should end up with a garlic image and also a readme file. Next, we'll write our SD card using Win32 Disk Imager. Make sure you have the correct drive letter selected. Then click this little folder icon and navigate to the Garlic OS image. We'll go ahead and select it and open it. And then we'll click Write and verify that we do indeed want to do this. After it's finished, you can click OK on this prompt and if you get these pop-ups asking you to reformat, you can just go ahead and cancel out of them. Now open Disk Genius and select the last partition on the SD card. As you can see, we're not using the full space of this partition, so we need to delete it and recreate it. But before we do that, we want to copy some folders from the card so that they're not deleted when we delete the partition. There are times when Windows does not assign a drive letter to this particular partition, so we can fix that by simply right-clicking on it and then selecting Assign New Drive Letter. Now we will open that drive letter in Windows Explorer. We'll select these three folders and I'm going to copy them to my desktop. Now back in Disk Genius, I'm going to select that same partition and then click Delete and Yes. Now I want to select this empty space that represents that partition. I'll select New Partition. In this new window that comes up, make sure that the file system type is FAT32. Give it the name of ROMs and then click OK. Then we can go up here to Save All. Click Yes and then Yes. We'll give it a brief second here, and now we have a ROMs partition that is taking up the entirety of the leftover space on our SD card. Now we'll use Windows Explorer to move these folders right back into the same drive on the SD card. 
Now you'll want to move your BIOS files into the BIOS folder. Now unfortunately, because of copyright issue, I can't tell you where to find these. But these are the files that are recommended, and if you do a web search, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find them. The last thing we need to do is move our games into the corresponding folders in the ROMs directory. Now there is a folder in here for each console that will play in Garlic OS, and some of the names are a little cryptic, so I will put a link to the Onion OS wiki below. They use the same folder name structure, and using it you'll be able to identify uh, which folder you need to put your games in for a specific console. Once you've moved all your games over, you can disconnect the SD card, replace it back in your 35XX, and you're ready to game away. Now let's cover the upgrade install. Whenever you get these pop-ups that are asking you to format when you connect your SD card to Windows, you can go ahead and cancel out of them. We want both of the copy-paste over stock zip files, 001 and 002, in the same location. Right-click the 001 file, go into the 7-zip menu, and select Extract here. We'll end up with an MISC folder, a ROMs folder, and a README file. Now locate the drive on your SD card that has this modules folder and all of these system files. Also, we want to open the MISC folder that we unzip. Now select all the files and folders on the SD card and delete them. Then we want to copy everything from the MISC folder onto the SD card. Now we want to find the ROMs drive on our SD card and we're going to open up the ROMs folder that we unzipped and we're going to copy everything from the ROMs folder onto the ROMs drive of the SD card. When asked to replace, go ahead and agree to it. It will take a bit so I'm going to fast forward here. After it's finished, we can close these folders and eject the SD card and we should be officially upgraded to the latest version of Garlic OS. Now let's cover the dual SD card setup. You'll want to go to the ROMs partition on SD card 1, grab all the folders except the CFW folder, and move them to your desktop. Be sure not to do just a copy, we actually want to move them off of the SD card. Now eject SD card 1 and connect the SD card you intend to use as your secondary card. If you're reusing an old card, let's open SD card formatter and we'll format the card. The secondary card has to be in FAT32 format, so we'll use Disk Genius to accomplish this. Go ahead and open it up and then select the SD card that we just formatted. We're going to click Format up here and change the file system to FAT32. We'll give it the volume label of ROMs. Click Format and then we'll click Yes. And now our card is in FAT32 format. Go ahead and open up the card now in File Explorer. And we're going to move these folders onto the second SD card. And once it's finished, we can eject the card and plug both SD1 and SD2 into our 35XX. Regardless of the route we took to get here, this ends up being our finished result. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Happy gaming, my friends, and Mario bless.